Thanks for clicking on the video, I hope you get the best out of it. Here I am, planning it all and working hard to share you something with real value. I've been implementing all of your comments and feedback. If this is the first uh, Better Person video you ever watch, I hope you enjoy it until the end and leave me a comment telling me your opinion, what else would you like to learn and what could be better. So here we go. Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you a decision making process that I believe can be very useful for you, especially now. When we take decisions, it's not only a logical process, it's also deeply emotional. So we use our prefrontal cortex to uh, foresee the possible future scenarios, but we also use the amygdala because it's a highly emotional uh, part of our brain that gives us the strength to actually get things done and follow through. So we'll need to align them both in order to be successful in our decision-making process and in our plans. There are different kinds of decisions in our lives. There are decisions that are not really very important, like what am I gonna eat today? If I'm gonna watch uh, Netflix, which is the show that I'm gonna pick for uh, binge watching or whatever. Uh, but there are some life-changing decisions with a deeper impact that can really shape who we are and how our life is going to be. Like, am I gonna take this job? Am I gonna start my business? Am I gonna get married? Am I going to have kids? Or how is it that I'm going to solve uh, life-changing problems like the one that we're living all today? For these kind of decisions, it's worth to take the time, a uh, pen and paper, and just give a few minutes of deep thinking so we can get control of our lives and really shape um, our outcomes properly with something that gets us satisfied and happy and fulfilled. And because I believe this is a very, very important uh, message and a very, very important skill, I've been investigating and I ask uh, help from my cousin, who's an airline pilot in the Middle East and whose uh, decisions sometimes uh, protect hundreds of lives by taking a good call. The first step is to get into the proper mindset. When we are overwhelmed, stressed or anxious, we try to be negative and our brain starts releasing chemicals like cortisol that makes no good in our uh, decision-making process. Uh, our brain is not as powerful, it's not as smart. So the very first thing is to understand this part and know where to focus and how to change it so we can begin with the right foot. When taking an important decision or solving a problem, we need to be smart. And being positive is smart. Why? Because our brain works better in positive than in neutral or negative state. We need to be objective and look at the problem as it is, but never worse than it is. In reality, nobody knows what's going to happen. However, our focus and mentality are key. If we focus on negative, we will stress our brain and trigger emotions like fear or anxiety, blurring our vision and criteria. In the other hand, if we focus on positive, we will be more efficient, calm and in control. Our thoughts should move from the problem to focus on the solution. Besides, we will be feeling better immediately. Let's align the chemical of our brains with our emotions to take better decisions. So now that we're in the positive mindset, right? We, we are aiming for success. The next step is to identify what is the difference between important and urgent. Uh, this is also critical in terms of the speed of solving something and the prioritizing on our tasks to be done. Uh, let me give you an example. Important, uh, I need to pay my rent. Urgent, my house is on fire. Uh, if that's the case, then you have a different uh, timing in order to solve your problems and a different prioritization as well. So for the logical part, we're going to use an acronym that is FORDEC. This is the technique that the pilots are using around the world to take uh, life-changing decisions and protect our lives every time that we are in the air. So in Fordek, the first thing that we'll need to look at are the facts. Uh, what is it that we know? What is the problem? And being objective, what is the most important information we have? Okay, so let's uh, start working into it. I wanna make some examples with you so we can be sure that we got this uh, clear. So let's review three different scenarios. The first one is an actual airline pilot. The second one is a business owner or an entrepreneur. And the third one will be just a common person uh, just like you and myself. 
So uh, on the first scenario, what's the problem? Well, the pilot received uh, the news that there is a passenger with a um, highly contagious virus on board and something needs to be done. Uh, what do we know? What are the facts? Well, the flight is from Atlanta to New York, normally takes uh, three hours, and after 30 minutes of flight is the, uh, the announcement being is being is being made into your awareness uh, that this problem is is happening now as a business owner uh, suddenly you see on the news that there is a pandemic there is going to be um, legal action to stop it uh, for public health so demand is going to go down um, the workers cannot keep on going to the office uh, what are the facts well how many people depend on you how many people work for you uh, what are the tools that you have to keep on going? What are your operations? How long do you have to take some actions? Um, and on the personal case, uh, let's say that the problem is that you being unfortunately fired and there was no uh, money or responsibility from the company, so there will need to be some legal action taken. Uh, we know by fact that you need X amount of money to survive each month. We know by fact what uh, the amount of money that you currently have into your bank account and how many people depend on you uh, besides yourself, uh, if there's any. The second one is the options. What are the options on the table? What is it that we can actually do? What are the possibilities? Okay, so now let's look into our options. Uh, if we were pilots, then the options of the pilot will be to either continue um, to divert or getting back and return to the same airport that um, they departed from. Um, keep on going is not an option if we know that by fact uh, there is three hours of flight and there's only half an hour after, so it's farther away. Um, if you have to divert, there is a lot of other actions that need to be taken that are harder than just going back. So considering that the, let's say, diversion point and a returning point is pretty much at the same distance, a returning will be the best option in this case. Now, if you uh, were owning a, a, a company or, or you were an entrepreneur, what are the options? Well, you can either uh, close your company because you know that it's not gonna make it, so it's better to start taking in actions now, uh, or maybe you would like to suspend the operations just for a while, uh, see what is the milder um, damage for the company if we take action soon enough, and then restarting it over uh, again later on or maybe adapting it and that's the most viable one if you will have the mediums to keep on going and as a, as a, as a person well what are your options well you can either live out of your money if you have money enough on savings you can get another work you can get uh, a, a business or multiple business and a job or you can ask for help for somebody that can um, help you through these uh, difficult times uh, or very likely a combination of two or more from the uh, mentioned before. Then we're moving to the R of risks. What are the risks of implementing the option that you have selected with the facts that you already know? It's very important that we analyze them and that we prevent them. Okay, so getting into the risk. If you were a pilot, the risk will be the weather, uh, the reach with the fuel uh, that you currently have, the terrain, um, the air traffic and so on and so on. Uh, if you are uh, managing a company or a business, then uh, is the people engagement, is the technology possible failures and capacities, is um, the timing, right? Because you'll need to be very fast, uh, that the demand completely stopped and, and that you cannot keep on providing, um, not being able to adapt your processes or delivering. So I think, I think that's, that's pretty much reaching the point, right? Now, in the personal, in the personal spec, uh, well, the risks are that you run out of money before you could actually generate another source of income, uh, that you cannot pay the rent, that you uh, get your services cut off so you'll have no light or no gas or no water or something like that, or um, that whatever you're trying is not, is not sticking, right? The business you tried is not working out, uh, nobody's really giving you a job, and nobody's borrowing, borrowing you money. So what are the risks? What are the risks that will be um, happening, right? We'll need to be very clear on those as well. Uh, before moving into the next step, uh, please, if you're finding value into this video, put a like uh, below. Uh, the next step will be the D for decisions. Uh, it's time to take a decision considering the facts, considering the risk, considering the options, but also uh, considering other people as well. All of the decisions that we take that can have impact on other people's lives need to be consulted with other people involved. When taking a decision, and, and the most important part is that we are not alone. 
we trend not to ask for help for whatever reason, ego, fear, I don't know, but you're not alone. Uh, pilots always ask for the co-pilot's opinion before moving forward and start executing on the plan. Uh, in case uh, of a business owner or if you're managing a business, it's very important that you uh, check this with your team, with the closest people to you, the closest people to the business, the ones that understand and know. And in the case of, um, if, if it's a personal thing, check it with your couple, check it with your family, check it with your friends, check it with especially the people that might be affected with the decision that you're going to be taking. Then we have the E for execution. On this one, the mindset is going to be crucial. It's going to be super important. So get into that proper mindset and execute as good as you can. I know that you can do it. By the time of the execution, be present, be mindful, be focused and have the right mindset. Be positive, believe that you can do it. That's going to make a huge difference when you start on executing your plan. If you believe you can do it, you more than likely will be able to do it. And I believe you can. And the last step is uh, the C4 checklist. Checklists are massively important, not only in aeronautic, but also in the ER on the hospitals, for example. Uh, making sure that we get everything in place, that we have uh, gone through it a couple of times afterwards to find opportunities, to find if something is missing is going to be crucial. So make a checklist, go through all of it all over again, and then you will be ready to go. So just to recap overall, it's very important to get the proper mindset. It's very important to understand the prior ration, if it's origin or if it's important, and using this logical method step by step so you can maximize your chances of succeeding. Um, take the time, take pen and paper, talk it over with other people. Making a decision that can be a life-changing one is serious. Take it as serious as you take your life serious and the consequences that can come out of that decision. Thank you very much for your attention and your time. If you find this information useful, please share it with other people. If you like this kind of videos and you want more, please subscribe. Uh, I will be uh, getting a new video every Tuesday. And remember that the real success is being a better person every day. Thank you. Bye.